This video is going to cover several types of angles, linear pairs, adjacent angles, and vertical angles. Please make sure you take notes on these three different types of angles. So the first type of angle that we have is called an adjacent angle. All right, um, Adjacent angles are angles that share the same vertex and one side. So I drew a couple angles here. You can see here's angle A, here's angle B. They are called adjacent because they share a vertex. Here's that vertex that they shared. And they share a side, and this would be the side that they share. So again, you can see as I trace angle A, here's angle A, okay? And then if I trace angle B, they shared that common side here and um, the same vertex. So those are called adjacent angles. Another type of angle that we learned about last year in seventh grade were vertical angles. Um, these are angles that are formed by two intersecting lines that are not adjacent. So what that means is you can see I have two lines that are intersecting um, and vertical angles are the two angles that aren't like connected to each other. So if you look at angle two and angle three, you can see that those are adjacent. They're connected. Okay, but angle two and angle four, those are not adjacent. So angle two here, so right there, and angle four, those are called vertical angles. So angle two and angle four. Now angle one and angle three, if you look at those two, they're not connected. They're like straight across from each other. Those are also vertical angles. So angle one and angle three. Now there's something special about vertical angles and that is that they have the same measure or equal measures. All right, so if you looked at their angles, they're gonna be exactly the same. So if I told you angle two was 120 degrees, right away you would know that angle four also measures 120 degrees. Same thing, if I told you angle one was 60 degrees, angle three would be 60 degrees because it's vertical. So those are vertical angles. The next type of um, angles that we're gonna work with are called linear pairs. All right, what these are, are there two angles that are adjacent, that means they're connected, they share a vertex and a side, and they're supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. And I know that 180 degrees is a straight line. So if I was gonna try to draw a picture of this, I would draw a straight line, okay? And it has to have two angles in that line. So I can just kind of maybe draw here, draw my line. Okay, now I have two angles. Maybe I'll call it angle A over here and angle B. Okay, they make a straight line. If I put them together, if I take angle A's measure and angle B's, you can see it makes a straight line. It makes 180 degrees, so it's supplementary. And they're adjacent because you can see that they share a vertex right here and they share that common side. So those are called a linear pair. Now I could draw it like this as well. I could draw two angles like this. And if I took this angle right here in blue and this angle in green and put them, they're, they're connected, they're adjacent, and together their measures add up to 180. You can see because it makes a straight line here. So those are called linear pairs. So if I had told you that this angle measured 140 degrees, angle A, you could automatically figure out that angle B would have to be 40 as well, um, or 40, because 140 and 40 equals 180. So if you know one of them, you can find the other because they have to equal 180. So that's called a linear pair. So what we're gonna do is we're going to try to figure out how much um, each of the missing angles measures in this picture using what we just learned. All right, so first thing that I usually do is if I ever see that there's a little symbol like this, I know that that's 90 degrees. So right away I can label angle four 90 degrees. All right, then I'm gonna start looking for things that I know, all right? So um, one thing that I kind of always look for are straight lines. So if I just kind of draw this straight line right here, I know that a straight line is 180 degrees. So if I took, let me grab another color, if I took this one, this one, and this one together, it has to make 180 degrees. So let's look what we have so far. We have 90 and 40. That's 130. So how much more to get to 180? So what does angle one have to be? So again, it was 90 right here, and then 40. That's 130 plus another 50. That's what angle one has to be because that gives me 180. Okay, so now that I have that, here's what I'm going to look at next. I'm going to look at angle one and angle three. If you look at those two, 
Those are vertical angles. They're formed by these two intersecting lines, and they're kind of like across from each other. And I know that vertical angles are equal, so I know this one measures 50 degrees. All right, so then the next thing I'm going to look at is this straight line, but down on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to look at these two angles. I know together they make a straight line or a linear pair, so they have to equal 180. So this one and this one together make 180. So I know if this one's 50, well, I, how much more to get to 180? It'd be 130 degrees. All right, so I just found all the measures in this picture by using linear pairs, vertical angles, and adjacent angles. In this problem, we are trying to figure out what these two angles measure. So we have this angle and this angle. So to figure that out, the first thing I do is I kind of think about, well, what do I know about these angles? Well, the first thing I notice is that they're adjacent. Okay, that means they share a side and they share a vertex. Okay, well, that doesn't help me too much. I know they're adjacent. But then I also notice that together, they make a straight line. So if you take this angle and then this angle I draw in blue, together, if you put those together, they make a straight line or a linear pair, which makes 180 degrees. So I'm going to try to write an equation to help me solve this. I know that this angle plus this angle, so I'm going to write 2x plus 5 plus 3x, all together make 180. Okay, so now I have an equation and I'm just going to solve it. I'm going to combine my x's. So I have 5x plus 5 equals 180. Okay, next I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. I get 175 equals 5x. All right, my next step is to divide both sides by 5. I'm running out of space here, but I'll divide that. So I end up with x equals 175 divided by 5 ends up being 35. All right, so that's what x equals. All right, so now I'm going to go back and try to figure out what the angles measure. So I'm going to take this x, I'm going to plug it in the equations or the expressions up here. So I'll plug this in first. I'm going to do 3 times 35 to try to figure out what that angle measures. And 3 times 35 is 105. So this angle here measures 105 degrees. All right, I'm going to come over to this one, and I'm going to do 2 times 35, which is 70, plus 5 is 75. So this angle here measures 75 degrees. Now one thing that you can do to test this is check, do these angles together make 180? Well, they do. 75 plus 105 is 180. All right, in this problem, I'm trying to find the two missing angles. So first thing I notice about these angles is they're not adjacent. They don't share a side, but they are vertical. They're formed by two intersecting lines. And I learned in this video that um, vertical angles are equal. So I know that this one here is equal to this one. So I can set up an equation that says 2x plus 10 equals 3x plus 4. Again, once again, because I know that these angles are vertical and they're equal. So now I'm going to try to figure out what x is. So first thing I'm going to do is take 2x away from both sides. That side cancels. I'm left with x plus 4 equals 10. Okay, my next step is to subtract 4 from both sides. And I get x equals 6. All right, so now I know what x is. So I'm going to take that x, that number, 6, and plug it in this equation here. So I'm going to do, or not this equation, this expression. So I'm going to do 3 times 6 plus 4. So I have 18 plus 4, which is 22. So this angle measures 22 degrees. Now the other angle up here should also measure 22 um, because it should be the same thing, but we better just test it out. So I'm going to do 2 times 6, which is 12, plus 10 is 22. So they both measure 22 degrees. So I did that correctly. So this concludes uh, the video on linear pairs, adjacent angles, and vertical angles. If there's something that you didn't get or you need to re-watch, please go back and just re-watch the parts you don't understand.